Welcome to this module. What we're going to go through now is the principle of hydraulics. This module will go through the principles of head and pressure. It will look at suction and how this can be affected by temperature. I'm going to look at pumps and how they are used to impart energy to water to make it flow. And then we're going to discuss the laws of frictional loss and how it can be determined and very importantly how it can be reduced. I want to tie all this in with practical solutions. I want to look at the impact of twinning lines for the fire system. Service. Then I'm going to look at numerous formulas to determine the output of nozzles, the water power of a pump and things like the height of an effective jet. I'm going to look at the subject of jet reaction, the output of a water main and finally things like Archimedes principle of the displacement of water. Now the first topic I'm going to discuss in this module on hydraulics is the pressure beneath the surface of a liquid. Now water is a fluid and what you find that if it's put in a vessel it will obviously fill the vessel. Now the water will exert a pressure at right angles to the internal surface of the pressure. As you can see here the pressure will act on the surface like this at right angles. It will press on it like that. So this pressure acts at right angles to the internal surface as shown. I would also like to point out a very important fact that if the pressure is directly proportional to the depth of the water. The deeper the water, the pressure will be greater. It'll still work at right angles, but as you get, if you put a pressure gauge further down the swimming pool, all the way down, it will get more and more and more. So it's directly proportional to the depth. The depth. So, what is pressure? Well, pressure is expressed as force per unit area, and it's measured in newtons per metre squared, as you can see here. Pressure is newtons per metre squared. Now, the pressure, of very important matter again, is pressure is independent of shape. It does not matter what shape it is, the pressure will be the same. As you can see here, the pressure will be the same. If you put pressure gauge on all of them, the pressure there, reading, will be exactly the same. Doesn't matter what shape it is leading to it, it's the same. What about water in a closed vessel? Now, if water is a closed vessel, it can't go anywhere, if pressure is applied to a confined liquid, then you will find that the pressure is transmitted to all parts equally. It doesn't matter how far away it is from the force, it doesn't matter if it's near or far, if it's a closed vessel and you put pressure on it, that pressure will be exerted equally at all points. So all the way in the system, it'll get the same pressure. It's not like near it'll have more pressure, and further it'll get less pressure. It'll be the same. The pressure is the same in a closed vessel. As you can see there, all that pressure there is exactly the same. Also, pressure is proportional to the density of the substance. The higher the density of the substance, the greater the pressure will be. And this can be shown here. The pressure at the base here will be the same because mercury is 13.6 times denser than water and petrol is 0.8 times denser. So the pressure there on those three gauges will be the same even though the column of water is 13.6 times higher it's because water is 13.6 times less dense than mercury. So those three pressure gauges will read exactly the same. So what is density? Well density is mass per unit volume. That's the expression, mass per unit volume, and it's measured in kilograms per metre cubed. Now, we said earlier, pressure is force per unit area, yeah? Now, this links together to make a very important formula for you to remember, and that is this formula. You want to remember this formula. The pressure equals 9.81, which is force due to gravity, times rho, which is the density, times height. Those two principles link together to make this formula, and you've got to remember this formula for hydraulics. The pressure equal, and that's in pascals, in newton meter squared, the pressure in pascals equals 0.81 times the density, which is in kilograms per meter cubed, times the height, which is in meters. Very important to remember that formula. Pressure equals 9.81 times rho times h. Let's have an example. What is the pressure at the bottom of a column of water 7 metres high? The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per metre cubed. Well, that's the formula. Pressure equals 9.81 times rho times h. You put your variables in, you get 9.81 times 1,000 times 7. It gives us a pressure of 68,670 pascals. Pascals is a newton metre squared. That's pressure.